hello, it's Sarah. And I'm speaking kind of softly because I'm upstairs now and my husband went to bed. And uh, it's interesting being up here. Um, I think when he puts the door on, I'll feel better about making some noise. But um, anyway, I just have a quick project share. Um, I wanted to make an ATB and I was inspired by these ATCs. I had um, pretty much used the Lawn Fawn stamps like this for um, the ornaments that I did. Actually, they weren't Lawn Fawn. I, I made a lot of them with Lawn Fawn stamps, but I used the, um, oh, I can't think of them, the snowmen, the uh, snow dudes, the swanky snow dudes. Anyway, um, so this ATB is basically um, this lawn fawn set that I have called Critters Ever After. So I did the castle, the unicorn, the dragon, and the frog. And I used this paper line. It's by EK Success, and it's just some Disney paper that I got a long time ago. Maybe like in the very beginning of when I used to um, look for paper and um, I got it at Joann's on clearance I think and I'm so glad I did because I've used it like I said for these ATC's as background paper it has the little castle in the background so it was really cute so I used that and some trims and I used the um, the Martha Stewart pink pearl paint this time. I've been using the white pearl, but I, I made this one really girly and pink. Um, so I used that. And um, if you're interested in how I do this, it's basically the tutorial that I did on the little, um, the star ornament, the paper mache ornament, is basically how you do it. You prep the piece with gesso, you sand it, you, um, and then I just paint the little edges with the uh, pink paint, the pink, um, the pink pearl paint, and that was it. So, and then you just adhere all your trims, and I put feet on. These are just little wooden feet that I painted, and um, this side has the unicorn with the, I think I'm going to outline the castle with like a gel pen or something, just to make it pop a little. Um, I love the little flowers on the bottom. So that's that side. And then this side's the castle and the froggy with the crown. And I, I used my Fisker's Punch to do the clouds. The little, I don't know if this is the littler one or the bigger one. Um, some different trims. This is that um, mesh trim that uh, Mary Allen gave me. I love that for grass. And then I did, um, this side is buttons. This is, I don't know if she was in the same set with that little dragon, but I had these little wings. These are kind of like an applique wing. So I stickled them up and put them on her and put the little dragon up in the air. A couple of butterflies. Those are the Martha Stewart punch butterflies with some um, glitter paper. And I think that's it. Oh, and then the dragon. And I colored the images with my Copics. And then I wink a Stella everything and glossy accented his um, horns and put stickles on stuff. I just love blinging everything up. I love these little flowers too. I forget where I got them. Um, so that's it. It's like my little, I was going to add the words too, and I probably could still. These are from the stamp set as well. I have You're So Charming, um, something about, oh, Fairy Princess, and I have, like, I had so much cool stuff to put on there, but I don't know. Sometimes I think I get too crazy with the embellishment. So then on the top, I've been wanting to make it more three-dimensional like stand up a little I saw one I just saw an ATB share and I'm so sorry I forget who it was I I watch my videos at night a lot of times on my iPad and I just flip around flip around but um she had actually I think it I want to say it was a, a a dress form and it was like standing up so anyway I thought well I want to try and do something like that I'm gonna I'm gonna look that up again and I'm gonna um, put it in the description box when I find it um, 
but so I just had this wooden butterfly. This was from um, a pack and they're already colored. They came as a set and I love the color. It matched my design here. So see they already came colored. They're solid and kind of filigree ones. So all I did was kind of wedge it in between these flowers and stickled it. That's it. And then I just did a mishmash of flowers and different bling and some of those like stamens and pearl hearts, different stuff like that. And kind of just made a little kind of garden <laughs> on top and put the this um, all my mesh bling, this bling is from the dollar bins at Michael's. I love that stuff. Most of the, the blings that I get um, are from Hobby Lobby, Michael's, AC Moore, those places. This ruffle trim is the dollar bin at AC Moore. Um, and I think I said I painted the feet with the um, pink pearl paint too. So that's it. I mean, it's just such a cute, these, I have, now I have one on that table. I don't know if you can see over there. I'll try and zoom in. I have enough time. Let's see if it'll do it. But because that um, milk glass, oh, it got dark. The, the lighting's not good in here. Um, my husband's going to totally hook me up, though. Don't worry. It'll be good. But that milk glass lamp is gold. So I made a gold ATB that's over there. And then, so I have them kind of all over the room at the moment since they're my like, latest thing I'm into. I have my little fairy one right here in front of me. I have my... Uh, What's his name? Tim Holtz ones. My three Tim Holtz ones are up there. Then this is like a little fairy one I made with just buttons. This was just buttons from a button pack. And look, there's the little knight. I love him. He's so cute. So I just have them on. Then I have my, um, behind here I have the, I think I showed this in my, um, when I shared the craft room. But I have them all over the place. I just love them. Um, so that's my latest. I actually have a minute left. I'm just going to pull this card into the shot. I made this yesterday night, last night, with some of the dies that I cut on my Explore. So I've been watching Mary on Cards TV, I'm pretty sure, is her YouTube channel. And she does actually Tuesdays with Expression. It's not Explore. I said Explore before. but. Same thing. I mean, you can still cut these out. Um, and so I had been playing and had these cut out already and just wanted to make something with it. And this is the um, Die Cuts with a View. It's a matte stack. I, I want to say it's Fall and Halloween. And that's what she used for a lot of her videos. So I just pulled the paper from the stack that had all these like potions on it and put that on the front. And I'm not a card maker, so it's very, it's like interesting because I really kind of struggle figuring out, oh, excuse me, where to put stuff or, you know, and I, I probably could have matted it with black again. Like Mary's so good at matting everything. And um, anyway, but I think she turned out cute. I used chalk on her cheeks because Mary does that. And I found my chalk and of course I stickle everything up and I used that awesome um, spider web. And then inside I just put happy witches to you on Halloween and some more of the paper. But um, I've been playing with them. I, I'm going to run out of time, but uh, I have this little, I hope he's right here on top, this little Dracula. Look, I made this little guy and I put googly eyes in because Mary did and she gave me the idea. But look at this guy with one of my peachy keen stamps. Look at his little face. He's so evil. <laughs> So I'm going to um, make up some more of these and just have them on hand for when you want to make a card, like make some friends. But look at the Google Eyes on that. I have Google Eyes and I've had them forever. So I just pulled them out and I did this little guy too and I wink a stell at them and stuff. But anyway, so all right, you guys, I'm back to creating. And if you have any questions or comments, let me know. And thanks for watching.